Put your money where your mouth is to supersize and grow your business. Sharon Horn Elsom here. And our idiom for today for supersize your business is put your money where your mouth is. How do we do that? How do we go about this? This idiom is from the 1930s and the 1940s in America. It became popular then. And it means if you're going to talk about doing something, it, it's harder to talk about. It's easier to talk about doing something than actually doing it. So if you can talk about doing something, make sure that you follow up with action. You actually do the thing that you say you're going to do. I'm a firm believer in doing what you say you're going to do. If you commit to something, if you say you're going to do it, then do it. Otherwise, just keep your little mouth shut and don't say anything. Better to say nothing. My dad used to have a saying where he would tell us girls that it's better to keep your mouth shut and say nothing than to open your mouth and remove all doubt that you are uninformed or an idiot about something or stupid about something. So he would always say something to that effect. And obviously it stuck with me because he's been gone for eight years. Uh, but it means to show by your actions and not just your words what you're committed to, what you're trying to accomplish. Don't just talk about it and then never do it. You know, Just don't talk about injustices or what you're against and never take any action. Don't just talk about things and not follow up. So if you say you're going to do something, do it. I think I beat that dead horse. So how are you going to do this? How do you do this? How do you prove this in your business and in your leadership style? There's lots of ways. Uh, what do you invest in? This idiom reminds me to think about what am I investing my time and my energy and my, especially my attention in? Because if I pay attention to the wrong things, I find my mind going off in a direction that I might not want to go. And my actions and my thoughts soon follow. Uh, what do you champion? What do you stand for as you're building and growing and supersizing your business? And again, what do you what do you stand against? What do you push against? And how do you present those in a way that are appropriate for the people that you serve? And then just keep your mouth shut on the things that aren't appropriate. There are topics and things I just don't talk about. I try not to talk about religion. I try not to talk about sexual orientation. I try not to talk about prejudice and things because we're all prejudiced, but in different ways. And guess what? We're all different too. And if we would just love one another for our, our commonalities and our humanness, I think the world would be a much better place. So that's our, our topic for today. Do you and how do you, maybe share an example in the comments below of how you put your money where your mouth is, how your actions match your words. You know, we all know for parents or grandparents that our actions speak way louder than words when it comes to our kids and other people. And it's especially true if you're leading a group of other people or if you're building and growing and supersizing your business. I learned this in corporate America. People do what you do, not what you say. And that, that to the tiniest, most minute detail. We had a, a manager in one of my the companies I worked for that was late all the time, yet would punish their people if they were late and they would, you know, be be rude, but their people started to get later and later and later and perform worse because that's what the boss was doing. You can't expect people to do what you're not willing to do. At least that's my opinion. All right. Have an awesome day. And I'll of course be with you tomorrow.